against the Valley on ESPN. A midweek matchup in Missouri Valley Conference play tonight as the Evansville Purple Aces play host to the Braves of Bradley. Welcome inside the Ford Center along with Rick Johnston. I'm Kyle Peach and tonight this midweek matchup hitting two teams that are really focused on the stretch run of Valley play. Well, a month ago, the Aces traveled to Peoria and they ran into the proverbial buzzsaw. I mean, Bradley just bullied themselves to a, a dominating win. The Aces, on the other hand, they're four and three since that game. They played great at home. They're 10 and two at home. They're trying to extend what they've been doing here recently. They're on a three game run of their own. Let's take a look at the players to watch in this game first. We'll focus on the Bradley Braves. They talk about a four-headed monster. Here's two of them, Connor Hickman and Malvi Leones. If I said there's a 6'3 shooting guard from Southern Indiana on this roster, you would think the proverbial, he can shoot the basketball and he does play on that end. The difference is this kid can defend on the other end. Uh, Leon has just been phenomenal defensive player of the year last year in the league. Meanwhile, for Evansville, you're looking at Yasin Toomey, who has been a difference maker, as has been Humrick House since his return. Well, those two cats have really been playing well. Uh, you got a good finisher in Toomey, and you've got Humrick House. You know, when when Hickman was out for the Braves, they were 0-5. When Humrick House was out for the Aces, it, it was a situation where they really struggled. And so now they're both back, and you're seeing the results here, some good competitive basketball. And again, you look at the stat line on both Toomey and Humrick House there, as uh, they have been two of the big difference makers for the Aces on the year. And Connor Hickman, the junior out of Bloomington, 10 points, four boards in the game against Illinois State the last time out. For these Braves who are battling for a top spot in the Missouri Valley Conference standings, they sit at nine and three along with Drake, two games back of league leader Indiana State entering play here tonight. But as we have said many times before, winning on the road in the Valley is a difficult task night in, night out. We're set for action. This one about to get underway. Glad to have you along tonight for this midweek Valley tilt. And we will re-jump. It's as close to a false start as you can get in basketball. Well, Gary Maxwell's on the toss here. You got Jeb Hartness on the call and then Chris Hudson as well here for tonight's official. So the redo from Leons for Bradley to me for the Aces and Bradley has the basketball first. A look at the starting five. It will be Hickman along with Dean, Atlison, Leons, and Hannah on the court for the Braves. This is Hickman. Missed the shot. Toomey tried to tip it to himself, but the Braves recover. An offensive rebound. They are electric in that department. Well, they're second in the Valley in offensive rebounds, right at 10 a game. And you, the first possession, there they go. Leon's called with a step in the paint, a turnover for Bradley, and Evansville gets possession. Now, on this end of the floor, the Braves are elite, and we'll be talking about that as we keep going here. For the Aces, it'll be Thomas along with Bobe, Strawbridge, Toomey, and Humrick House. His first appearance against the Braves this season was out in the game in Peoria with the injury as Toomey battles and scores inside to get the Aces on the board first. Well, again, in, in today's basketball, you're looking for matchups, and they found the one they want with Toomey on Hannah down inside, backed him down in the post, and gets the good finish. Braves go to work, looking for their first points. Dean from long range missed it. Good position. Leon's got the rebound, but Strawbridge takes it away. A Bradley turnover. Well, one of the top rebounders in the league, and Leon and then uh, one of the best steel guy in the league in Strawbridge. Some of the league's best on the court here tonight. And you can see right away that the defensive player of the year is matched up with Humrick House. Humrick House to the rack, missed the shot. Defended by Leons, and here comes Bradley. Dean circles underneath at the basket for Hannah. Tying us up early. Well, Dean really benefited when Hickman was out. He really had to take on an expanded role, and according to their folks, really has improved his game since that time. No look pass over to Bob in the corner, covered up 
Not able to get the shot off. Defending there was Dean. A little loose on the dribble. Now Toomey gets a reprieve. Will shoot from there and hit. Toomey, one of the better percentage shooters in the Valley this year. Fifth in the field goal percentage in the league. A touch under 60%. Inside, Atlason comes up empty. Strawbridge to the basket. The one thing that Bradley does not like doing, they don't run a lot of double teams to the low post. So it's going to be interesting early here. You've seen uh, try to isolate on the post with no double team. Looking to bang inside is Hannah, inside out. Atlason misses from long range. And the Aces a chance to tack on some more here early in our first three minutes. When the first contest, they shot over 33s, and so that they're going to have opportunities to, to take those shots tonight as well. Currently 0 for 2 from distance are the Braves. Humrick House for three. Got it. Hot start for the Aces. <laughs> well, you, you know, talking to the Aces coaches, they needed to get out of the gate. Last broadcast, we talked about Ellis Park being close. <laughs> Trying to get out of the starting gate. They've come out smoking here in the first few possessions. Seven-point Evansville lead. Three to answer. Dean in and out. And it almost looks like the Aces got the message of, uh, you know, you're going to be bullied until you decide not to be bullied any longer. And they came out and really matched the energy here at start. Here's Thomas. Homer House out top and Strawbridge steps out of bounds with that back foot turning it over for the Aces, their first turnover of the game. And is it just me or do we see that call almost in every single game? Not sure what it I'm is. I'm not talking about, about either for any team. Right. I'm talking you just see that call. Not a lot of real estate and you've got some <laughs> taller guys with a a lot of wingspan from their feet. Leg span, I guess. Open in the corner is Dean. That one also no good. Rebound, whistle, and a foul before the shot by Thomas. It'll be out of bounds. And that sends us to our first stop in action. Evansville out of the gate well on top of Bradley. 9-2. Live sports. Our generation has a choice. Turn away from the world's problems or chase them down. We refuse to sit back and watch them pass us by. Watch us fly ahead. Rise to every challenge and overcome anything. Watch us become the next greatest generation. So with all these Hilton Honors points, I could stay for free. Mm -hmm. At the Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives? Yep. Hilton Honors, babe. Ooh. What about the canopy in Paris? Babe, Hilton Honors. How long has that been here? And there's no blackout dates. Hilton Honors, baby. <laughs> there's no way the Conrad Tulum's included. When you want points that can take you anywhere. Hilton Honors, babe. It matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Like the Stanley Cup Final on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. I have to find a babysitter. I have a lot of questions. When can they start? Today? Now? How about Saturday? Are they background checked? My wife and I haven't been out in a year. We need a date night. <laughs> no offense. Find all the care you need at care.com. And plus. Tonight's broadcast on the Valley on ESPN is built by Kirchner Building Centers. From commercial to residential building needs, Kirchner Building Centers has you covered. By Art Construction, serving Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky for over 50 years. And by Accelerated Growth Capital, specializing in investment property, commercial real estate, and small business loans. Locally owned and operated in Evansville, Accelerated Growth Capital is commercial lending made easy. Evansville has struggled at times this year getting out of the gate well, and they are off to a good start tonight at home. 
Well, if, if we looked at keys to the game, our keys to the game was going to be real simple of this. You know, if you're Bradley, you're trying to continue to build your resume, and we'll talk more about how they've done that and, and what they've done scheduling-wise, but they've got to take care of business. They've won 11 out of the last 12. They just got to keep doing what they're doing. For Evansville, this is opportunity. You know, they've, they've won three in a row. Now they've got a shot in the next in some of the next home games they've got against Bradley, against Drake, against Indiana State. And so they've got to take advantage of the opportunity to get a signature win. This would be that indeed, a top three team in the Valley standings. If Evansville could hold on, it was ugly up in Peoria for the Aces. The last time these two teams got together, and here's a take inside, missing it, Hickman. Gage Bulb will secure the ball for Evansville. When they're talking to the Aces coaches, the key tonight's not going to be about X's and O's. It's in the balls on the floor, are we going to be first to the loose ball? When the shot goes in the air, are we going to be able to put a body on somebody and rebound? Toomey got a defender airborne, but good recovery by Leons to come back and block the shot. Hickman driving into Bob, offensive foul. You see Gage Bob fly across the court a lot in plays like that. Well, he just jumped to that right hand and uh, just a little bit of a shoulder that time by Hickman, who's a very physical six foot three. It gives him a little bit of the shoulder and gets the call. Evansville awards a championship belt in the locker room after wins. And Gage Bob, one of the recent recipients of that for his defensive effort, showed why right there on that play. Here's Thomas flying, blocked shot again from behind. That one with authority by Thomas. Transition now, Birch to the rack, backside, missed it. Whistle and a foul. The call it on the Aces, looking to pull down the rebound there was Thomas. Well, they've gone to their bench here. They brought yep. their six man Christian Davis in and uh, also Kyle Thomas. You know, from Indiana, you know, being close to Bloomington, that's the son of Daryl Thomas who played with Steve Alford and the boys at IU. So he's got a pretty good lineage there. And saw that Hughes got him on the noggin there on the foul. That's the second foul against the Aces. And the first, they call it on Thomas actually on the personal foul. Looking inside to Thomas, working over Hughes, missed the shot, rebound. Secured by Toomey, aces running, Toomey kicks, Hafner corner, three. Great job by Hafner that time, floating and drifting to the corner, and uh, Toomey finds him for the easy three-point shot in transition. 12-2, Evansville, a double-digit lead. Here's a shot that misses from Dean, and the aces and Cuff secure the rebound. We've played almost six minutes. And the Aces are on a 10-0 run over the last three and a half. Well, and Braves have come out one for 10 from the field here to start. Missing their last seven. Heat check, three, Hefner delivered. Well, back in the old video days, you'd hit the turbo button. All right, the guy's hot, let's get him the ball, right? Super hot start for the Aces. Dean to answer, that's a two-point shot, and it ends a 13-point run by Evansville. That's a big bucket, and that guy's had 25 plus points in half of their last six games, so he really stepped up. Scored 11 against the Aces the last time they played in Peoria. Evansville's lead, 11. Hafner now to Toomey. He'll shoot from there, this one short. All Braves on the rebound. Wide open, Leons for three, cannot get it. Long rebound to the Braves, second chance opportunity. Quick ball movement. But the Aces able to scramble back and force them late into the shot clock. Leons with trouble, sitting in the paint with a basketball. Four seconds. Yeah, they called it. They did seconds. call it. I hear, didn't hear the whistle, but I see the call out top, a three second violation in the lane. I think, I think Gary Maxwell got the four, and he said, well, okay, we got it all. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be camping out in there that long. Veteran officiating crew here in this one. 
but you hit it on the head Kyle the ball does not stop with this brave team it yep. is popping around the perimeter and they're looking for those driving lanes are looking for angles trying to find a weak point to attack. Here goes Bailey to the basket. Awkward shot, awkward finish, but it drops for Chuck Bailey, who's been limited to 3.7 points per game in his last three contests. Aces need him back on offense. There's another missed shot, and Toomey could not secure it. Out of bounds, they say it belongs to Bradley. And it will stay with the Braves after Toomey could not secure it. Now you just wonder the way the Aces come out and played physical and whether they got the football equipment that they dropped <laughs> at the Aces program back in the 90s out and they've really been physical. Catch and shoot on the three point opportunity. Davis can't cash in. Aces on the run. Missed Hafner. There's two for two from three point range. Bailey has it. Now Hafner in the corner. Evansville plus 13. That's a steal. Oh, Toomey got it back, but they're going to say he commits the foul in doing so. Good call by the official. The foul on Toomey. I don't think the Aces fans are going to like it, but I think it's a foul. And that sends us to another break. It has been a great start for Evansville. They lost by 30-plus on the road. They lead by 13 early. It's the Valley on ESPN. Farm can help you find the right coverage. What if I was a different kind of baller? It's called Mark's Cubans. Cuban sandwiches by Mark Cuban. You'd have a majority steak. Mm. This is proprietary toasting technology. It's a pass. Okay, hear me out. Mark's Cubans. Tube socks by yours truly. Nope. Mm -mm. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all new boneless chicken wings. I mean, this is how Papa John's does boneless wings. Juicy all white meat chicken, lightly breaded with hints of Parmesan and pepper and baked to a crispy golden brown. And try them with this brand new zesty sauce. Find our new boneless wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Get two or more favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now in the app. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Evansville been electric from three-point range. Well, you see Hafter there just pulling up a three, and then again, he's drifted to the corner and sticks the other three. He's a very streaky kind of shooter this year so far. And Hedrick Hummerkhaus is 6'9", gets a little quick swing and can raise up over top the defense, and he's splashing from three as well. So Evansville a perfect three for three from three-point range. Bradley has yet to hit one in six attempts. Coach Wardle's team Fighting through a little adversity here on the road early, just not getting shots to drop. Well, we'll tell our fans out there that are tuned in right now, <laughs> don't turn the channel. This game isn't over. <laughs> because yeah. Bradley has proven they've come, they can come back. I mean, they were down 23 points uh, at the 19-11 mark in the second half at SIU and came back and won that game. It just went on a super hot streak shooting the ball. And again, uh, the, the game's a game of runs. This team is not going to go away. They defend too well. And it's just a matter of knocking down some shot for them. They're only 1-11 right now out of the gate. Bradley, the second place spot in the league in terms of scoring offense at 81 points per game. So the points are coming, you got to believe. <laughs> you got to withstand the runs. That's if you're exactly a Braves right. fan. Evansville back to work defensively, trying to protect a 13-point lead. Hickman, jump pass. Atlason can't get it. And Hafner secures the rebound. Aces in transition. Bradley does a good job slowing up that run out opportunity. Hafner dishes inside. Hughes wasn't oh. quite ready for the pass, I don't think. Dropped it and then could not get the finish. 
And if you're going to beat the number three team in the league right now, you've got to convert on those easy opportunities. Here's that patented ball movement from Bradley, and it leads to the Duke Dean, Dean three from the corner. First three to drop tonight for the Braves. They're within 10. And he's less than 80 points away from 1,000 points now in his career, Bradley. Looking to become the 54th player in Bradley history to reach 1,000 points, his teammate. Leons did so last time out. Here's Bailey missing from just underneath the arc line. And looking for points and back-to-back -back possessions. Foul call on the attempt underneath. Two shots coming. They call Bailey on the foul. It wasn't on the block. Right. It was on the underneath. Well, you're going to see Bailey attempt. with the body right yeah. there, yeah. Got him all arm. I right. guess it was on a block attempt. It was looking at Hughes coming in on the backside. It's Bailey who gets the foul. And Hannah to the line, a 56% free throw shooter. A little miscommunication that time in the defensive transition ups. And, and these people aren't those opportunities. Dean's really going to find some people. He's, he's leading the league in assist to turnovers. Uh, the young man really sees the floor well. One of two that trip for Darius Hanna, the senior out of Milwaukee. And the Aces will make some changes as Hughes, Hafner, and Bailey depart. Starters minus, minus Thomas at this point on the court for the Aces. Cuff in that spot. Cuff with the ball now. And you can see their ball pressure now has really shoved Evansville out away from that arc. Humrick House, first miss from distance. Good follow though, backside for Tanner Cuff. A uh, great follow that time, come flying in from that baseline. And there was no check out that time for the, with the defense and good finish. Aces by 11, three point shot. Atlason parries it. From the left wing. The sophomore, the uh, freshman rather from Iceland. Well, he's 6'8. Yeah, he's 6'8, and he shoots 42% from out there. So water levels up, doesn't it? He has got a chance to set the all time Bradley freshman record from three point range. Cuff inside out from Humrick House. Cuff delivers. Aces maintain that double-digit lead. Here's Davis. And now Hannah. Pull up from there. Over the top. Nobody blocked him out. He nearly got his own rebound, but Toomey is able to secure it. Very fortunate that Ben was able to get a hand on that to knock it between his legs to his teammate. Or and Cuff just kicked the ball out of bounds, dribbled it right off his own foot. Turnover there by the Aces. It will be the Aces' third of the game. Cuff will depart the game for the Aces as Thomas returns. You don't see tough, uh, Cuff turn the ball over that much. Second in the league in assist to turnover ratio at 2.31. Well, and that's a, that's a byproduct of having Dean up in your grill. Right. <laughs> as you're trying to bring the ball up the floor. And that's a carry. Thomas palming the basketball will get whistled for the turnover. The fifth of the day for the Braves. Well, both these teams right now, as long as they don't turn the ball over, they're scoring, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> By the way, you talk about that assist to turnover ratio. It is Dean who's first in the Valley yeah, in is. that, that margin. So he's trying to keep in front of Cuff and did so on that play. Here's a take inside. And Toomey is fouled. He'll go to the line. And Thomas, the guilty party. Good find that time by Thomas down inside. And, and again, like we talked with Toomey, the slower he plays inside, the better he plays. And he, he's become one of the better finishers in the league um, by, by really executing well off two feet. Free throws have been his Achilles heel, 53%. As you look at Coach David Raglan, really turning things around in his second season for the Aces. 
Toomey's second free throw good. One of two that trip. And Toomey's got five points. The Aces lead by 12. Atlas in, too Ooh. high. Throws it away, looking for Leon's in the corner. Well, Ace Purple is about three rows up, and I think he <laughs> caught that one, right? The Evansville mascot <laughs> right over there. Christian Davis back on the court. Hannah returning as well. Thomas brings it down the court for the Aces, coming off a 10-point performance at Valparaiso. Kicks it to Bobe in the corner. Toomey, pass, had to go get it. Does, looks to finish. He's fouled and will go back to the free throw line. Well, again, it's a product of playing single close defense. And he got a little bit of a lane and came down across the arm. So, And again, the Aces want to take Leon away from the play. <laughs> Yeah. When you've got the defensive player of the year, you know, and with that great length, this is the longest team as far as reach, seven foot one average of any team in the league. So you, you've got to, you really have to work on some spacing. And you want to take that dude away from the play, which they've done a good job of. To me, one of two again at the line. Aces by 13. The foul was on Hannah, by the way, his first. Leon's going to work against Humrichaus. Got it back. Humrichaus blocks the shot. Leon's gets it again. Battling, stripped again, and then fouling as the Aces get a hold of the basketball. Boy, that brings the Aces crowd to their feet here on that timeout. And just a great job that time by, by Ben Humrichaus holding his ground, staying on the floor, not going for the shot fake. Takes us to the break here at the Ford Center. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. Are we a reflection of our places in life or are they reflections of us? Could we have been somebody else? If we'd taken a right turn. Instead of a left. Or if we'd taken the place with a hot tub. Or the one uptown. We went downtown. Could we be fabulous? Or fantabulous? Yes. Yes, we sure could. With Apartments.com's multitudes of listings, our possibilities and of yours are truly multitudinous. Multitudinous. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Goods. Go finding. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Get ready for the rush to the playoffs. The biggest games on the biggest stage. An outdoor hockey doubleheader at MetLife Stadium. The most intense playoffs in sports begin in April and culminate with the most revered trophy of all. The Stanley Cup Final returns to ABC and ESPN Plus this June. Ladies and gentlemen, is this not the greatest <laughs> in the world? Hello. Are you kidding me? That's what they came to see. The Stanley Cup Final on ABC and ESPN Plus. Back inside the Ford Center along with Rick Johnston, I'm Kyle Peach, Evansville leading this one by 13. Well, I'll tell you one, one thing to note, uh, this has been a pretty physical game, but it's been a cleanly played game. I mean, there's only been four fouls called both ways. And so again, both teams are really being physical here, especially inside that arc. The battles inside have been fun to watch both ways. Points in the paint, Evansville plus six in that department, eight to two. 
Reese is really here again. It's early. And you like this. Playing well. And you like this matchup with these two point yeah. guards right here, too. Super quick. A lot of Great fun vision. matchup. Yep. A lot of fun matchups to watch. To me, pass deflected. Look what I found. Thomas just missed the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, it's tough to throw it off the defense's hand like that <laughs> to get it go to the second guy, right? Just how he drew it up. Well, Bode reads the screen and, and comes to the baseline and re take, you know, refuses that screen, that down screen, which opened up Thomas on the uh, interior cut that time. Ball just ends up in his hands, and they get the foul. Damarion Birch out of Milwaukee hits, uh, gets the foul his first. And Thomas, sixth in the Valley in free throw percent coming in at 84.4%. Hits the first of two. Evansville by 15. Bradley's not scored in two and a half minutes. Dean, oh, almost let it too far. But Hickman tracked it down. Now Bob takes the ball away. A turnover. Aces get it away after the steal. Second steal by Evansville tonight. Here's Humrickhouse driving. Stop, shot, foul. He'll go to the line. Well, they ended up with Hickman on Humrickhouse, who put his head down and said, okay, we're going to go to the rim here. And they may have gotten the second defender there, right? That Hannah? Yep, uh, Hickman hits his second. Oh, it did. they did call it. Yeah, him. so second foul on Hickman. Humrickhouse to the line, hits the first. A lot was made this week about the impact Ben Humrickhouse would have in this game tonight. A lot of the coaches in the Valley press conference earlier this week were, were talking about that. At least a lot of the media were talking about that on that conference call. Yeah. Well, and again, he's he's such a difference maker. And, and the last broadcast we talked about, if you take Swope away from him, you take Hickman off this club, you know, you, you take, you know, you go right down to the, the, the league itself, and you take him out for a while, changes have to happen here. And both clubs have been better because they've lost those guys. They're better now than maybe what they would have been. Here's Dean now on the baseline. Does it roll in? It does. Count the basket and the foul for Birch. Had to wait for the bounce. It finished and dropped. Well, great baseline cut that time by Birch. And again, Dean at the point guard is just going to, he sees so well that he, found, he finds Birch on that, on that baseline cut and uh, just goes up strong for the finish. That was a man's take to the rim right there through contact now. Foul goes against Kenny Strawbridge. That'll be his second. He'll check out as Cuff will return. So fouls have not been that many, but a couple with two. And Birch to the line here had 13 against Evansville in the matchup back in January. And they jump back into the full court pressure here. Evansville has doubled up Bradley. Just under seven minutes to go in our first half. Ooh, Cuff almost walked. Gets it back. And now they jump into the matchup zone here, a little 3-2 matchup zone. Inside Cuff, got a quick touch, missed it. Toomey had the rebound, lost it. And the Braves come away with it. Looking for their first field goal in three minutes. There it is, the three from Davis in the corner. Here comes Bradley, they're back to within 11. Again, Coach Water trying to change the rhythm here a little bit. In the corner, that shot no good. Actually, there was the made basket that got the end one. That was the shot that ended the drought. They've now been on a six point run looking for more. Uh oh, heating up. There's Dean from distance. That's nine straight for Bradley. All right, so now if you're Evansville, you've got to get to the free throw line to really cut momentum. You've got to get a post touch. You've got to get something in here. There you go. Toomey's got it, but 
Has to come away with it, lost it. Bradley with a takeaway. Another turnover forced by the defense. All alone in the corner, big shot for three is short. Missing that one was Birch and the Aces survive that possession. A nine point run in 59 seconds <laughs> for Bradley. Thomas had it poked away, goes up, his shot rejected amongst the trees. Davis the block, transition, run out, chance, foul, and that will put Hannah to the line as Bradley looks to continue a big run. We talked about the Bradley four-headed monster. You've got Hickman at 14.7 points per game. Leon's at 14, Dean at 13.3, Hannah at 11.7. I think the monster has woken up. Well, and, and, and what that really means, Kyle, is on any given night, any one of those four guys can go for 25 plus. Right. You know, and that's that's what you want. You don't know who's going to give you that 20 plus night, but it can be any, four, any one of those four. Hannah at the free throw line hits that one. He's got four. And just like that, Bradley scored 10 points in less than two minutes unanswered. Well, and the switch to the 3-2 zone has really, yep. really caused some uh, issues here on the offensive end. Second free throw is good for Hannah, who is three out of four at the line in the game now with those two makes. Cuff got the foul, was his first. Atlason returning to the court for Bradley as Hannah departs after the free throw makes and the Aces well, they jump in just to go back to their man-to-man -man here. The official turned toward the Aces bench. Did not like the challenge coming there. Humrichaus out top. Starts to move. Kicks. Cuff covered up. Driving. Dishing. Hughes. Slamming. Whistle. Foul. Before Zero on the shot clock. Well, there's Cuff on the drive, flips it underneath the Hughes. Hughes goes up trying to get to the rim strong, and yeah, that's a foul. That is the seventh team foul on Bradley, so Evansville will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Hughes, the Australian, hits the first free throw. And there's no better place to stop a run mm. than standing at the free throw line, making points with the clock not running. Hughes goes two for two, ends the run, aces by eight as we approach four and a half to play. Hickman kicks, open. Atlason can't get it, rebound on the aces, pushing from behind is Bulb. And it's a one and bonus opportunity here for Bradley as that's the seventh team foul on the Aces. Davis is at the line for the one and one. A little house cleaning here first. Davis, another Ace. Uh, Another thorn in the Aces side, I guess you would say, when they played back in January. Hits the first to earn the second and 13 points against Evansville back in January. As you look at Coach Wardle, his eighth season at Bradley, he's tied for fourth all time in Missouri Valley Conference wins in Bradley history with 81. Second free throw good. It's a two possession game after Bradley trailed by as many as 15 points. Now they jump back into that zone pressure here. Zone trap. Actually, Evansville led by 17 at one point. Here's Cuff. Now they, they jump from the zone trap back into man to man here. Evansville has not hit a shot from the field in over five minutes of play. Hughes, that's too tough, that's too high. Off of Hughes' hands and out of bounds. It'll belong to Bradley. I believe that is a wrong call. 
I believe that hit the top of the uh, head of the defender that time, but we'll see. See if we can't find a replay for you. The officials are not reviewing no, it. No, they're it's just going not, to TV timeout. Going with Bradley basketball. The Braves on the comeback trail when we come back. Hi, I'd like to introduce to you the newest member of the McMahon exterminating family, Raven, our official bed bug sniffing expert. With McMahon's skilled technicians and advanced training, we will get rid of the bed bugs, and Raven's keen senses will make sure we don't miss a single bug. Call us today, and remember, who can help with all your pest control needs, including bed bugs? McMahon's canine Raven can. Whether you're having guests for a wedding, a business meeting, for a weekend or a sporting event. Get the amenities you want, the service you expect, and the experience your guests deserve at the Hampton Inn Evansville Airport or the Holiday Inn Express Evansville East. Proud supporters of ACES Athletics. The valley runs deep. We have all Americans. We have champions. We have Olympians. We have legends. And the valley just got deeper. Tonight's Valley on ESPN matchup brought to you by Mr. B's Pizza and Wings, the official pizza and wings of Purple Aces Athletics. It's locally owned and operated. Mr. B's has everything you want from sandwiches and pizza to their famous wings. Please stop by one of their five area locations. Well, here come the Braves nipping and tugging at that lead. <laughs> Back to a six point deficit after being down 17 here in the first well, half. Well, it's a make or miss game, you know, and, and they've really come back. They're now four out of 12 uh, from the three. Still not a great percentage. This, this is a club that shoots close to 40% as a team. And, uh, you know, they got four guys shooting over 40% from the three. So, you know, they can they can fill that thing up if they get on a roll. So Bradley will have the basketball. 3.56 remaining here in our first half. Dean will bring it down. A little floppy action to get into their man stuff. Dean pointing directions, looking for Thomas to cut. He does. Here's Davis, 10 to shoot in the paint, and that's a walk. Good defense, and again, the key is staying on the floor, not going for the fake. And keeping their man in front of them, making it hard to go against. A great job by Cup that time to force the turnover. Turnover number eight by Bradley in this first half. Evansville looking for their first field goal still in over six minutes of action. Humrick House would probably be the guy you want to try to create. Toomey not in the game at the moment. Well, they're trying to isolate. Hughes here. Nice here grip and go. He got the roll. Thought that may come off the rim, but it's stuck in there for Gage Bobe, ending that field goal drought that stretched over six minutes. Great cut to the basket by Bobe that time on when he does uh, give it up to the high post and good find that time by Hughes. Evansville plus eight. It's Bradley that's now gone without a field goal in two and a half minutes plus as Hughes gets the block shot. Humbrick House. House, three, missed it off the back of the iron. Rebound tipped, it's controlled by Dean. Here come the Braves. Dean speeding down the court. Inside out, three, no good. Cuff got knocked down on the play. Bodies everywhere. Evansville will finally track it down in the corner. You talk about a physical game, we're seeing it right yeah, here. Yeah, we are, and Humbrick House, I think, was so shocked that he was open. <laughs> He's been so closely guarded throughout the game that Humrick House lost it trying to go between two, maybe trying to do a little too much. Dean picks his pocket. It's ahead. Leon missed it. Leon's got it and lost it. Oh, they say it belongs to Bradley. Two, 
Evansville fans getting a little testy. <laughs> And that's what you would expect out of the home crowd, right? You love the atmosphere yeah. in Missouri Valley Conference basketball. Birch triggering from the baseline. Hannah kicks. Just so impressed by Bradley's distribution of the basketball. Quick yeah, passing, travel. quick passing, extra step sliding it was Hannah. <laughs> Another Bradley turnover. Well, the ball doesn't get stuck, Kyle. And, yeah. you know, there's such a fine line between looking to put it on the deck to create an angle and keep the ball movement and they do it they do a nice job this coaching staff does a great job of evansville slow walk by cuff across the timeline east is looking to extend an eight point lead cuff battling at the low block against atlas and backs in turns half hook missed it well that's a matchup the aces want to try to exploit that time that ball squirts free humrick house to thomas down the court, little dipsy do, missed it. Rebound to me, left it short. Rebound battle, falling down is Atlason. He'll be called for the walk. Oh, again. Brutal. <laughs> Just I mean, there's, tough, there's tough a sledding. Well, there's so many contests at the rim, both yep. ends, that it's uh, just tough to get, get the ball to go. Physical battle continues inside. Oh, my, there is Cuff bumped out top. Letting them play a little bit. Backing his way in, gets by his man, then kicks it out. Extra pass with seven to shoot. There's Cuff again. Now Hummerkaus with three, has to shoot, does. Missed it, back iron. Surprised we didn't see the trigger pulled by the Aces underneath the basket that time. Now not afraid to shoot from the top. That's Dean again from distance. Well, that walk-in three he just does a great job with that. There's no easier three than dead spot on top of that key. The third three in six attempts from Dean. He's in double figures, a game high 11. Now they jump back into that zone, trying to mix it up a little bit. In the corner, Thomas, baseline. Tries to shovel it in there. Bradley disrupts it, and they're gonna get cuffed for coming on top yeah. for the foul. Just nowhere to go that time as Thomas drove baseline. We'll walk all the way to the other end for free throws, you see a a lot of heavy breaths out there right now. This one's this one's a war. Well, when you go down into that double team down there at the short corner, you know they're so long. He's it's hard for him to see on the skip pass, which would be the right idea. But there's nobody filling behind on the ball side as well. So everybody's kind of standing and waiting for the ball. They, they've got to look at some cutters through that zone, especially when somebody's putting the ball on the deck there. Birch, a 59% free throw shooter, the one and one here missed it. It's one and done. And the Aces head the other way. Now they jump back to man-to-man. -to -man. Final 25 seconds, about a five-second difference between the shot clock and game clock for the Aces. Toomey. There's your zoom action to the corner. Trying to fill and then isolate in the post. Six to shoot. Humrick House got a lane, drives, looks to finish, missed it. Uh -huh. Bradley has it for the final five seconds. Down the court. Timeout taken by Coach, Ward Coach Wardle and the Braves with three seconds exactly on the first half clock. Well, how about this stat? Assuming that Bradley's not going to score five points in three seconds, anything's possible. But you Evans, like this stat too. Evansville, you, you do like this stat. Is you? 11 and 0 when? Well, that's toward the end of the game. But Bradley is 15 and 2 when leading at the half. They're 2 and 4 when trailing at the break. So Evansville's got that stat on the Bradley side to look at. Right. Exactly. And I, I knew you came up with that stat. On, you know, before the game, we talked about that one. You like that one. Yeah, it's it's a good stat. It's an interesting stat. Obviously, it's. A lot of Something ball game Bradley's to go, done. But, There's a yeah. lot of time left. Yeah. And the Braves, by the way, have won 11 straight against Evansville. As the Aces. Well, a lot of, lot of history with oh, this Braves sure. program. The final three seconds of the half. Oh, that pass touched. Having to go retrieve it. That won't drop for Leon and the Aces will enjoy a halftime lead. 
Well, they won't use that on the coaching clinic. <laughs> <laughs> 32, 27, Evansville, your leader at the break. We'll step aside, halftime show. When we come back, it's the Valley on ESPN. Live sports. ESPN Plus Originals. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. Shop K's Valentine's Day sale and save 30 to 40% on everything only at K. I want my music to unify people all over the earth. Then that time is now. Yes, I love those little guys. Become the elephant. Having a daddy-daughter day, that's my way to play. Nintendo Switch. largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips here in Illinois. Download your new bookie today at circusports.com. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. These suits are here to make sure that anything that I say is legally indisputable. Like, we got more spaces than space. That's entirely incalculable. Oh, I think that's legalese for, for true. Apartments.com, the place to find a place. Remember why you became a nurse? You wanted to help people. And girl, you're just getting started. You know what's next. Getting your graduate degree, that's how you can change this place for the better. For yourself, your patients, the whole community. You wanna make change happen? Walden University is all about change. It's time. Walden University, set a course for change. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Arch Madness tips off March 7th through 10th, and the MVC Fan Hangout at Ballpark Village is the best place to celebrate before and after games, featuring restaurants, entertainment, and all things Arch Madness. For more information, visit archmadness.com and click on Fan Hangout. Halftime here at the Ford Center, and it has been an interesting first half. Kind of the first part of the first half, and then the second. Evansville out of the gate well, Bradley responding late. Well, the two coaching staffs are, are talking about this in the locker room. If you're Evansville, hey, if we play up there, they get 23 points off turnovers. Right now, they've got zero. So we've done a good job taking care of the basketball. We're playing even on the boards. And this is a really good offensive rebounding team. They had, what, six offensive rebounds in the first five minutes of the game. They ended with eight in the half. So we've done a pretty good job with that. Um, so, But 20 minutes isn't enough. I mean, if you want to beat the top one of the top teams in the league, you got to come and battle for the next 20. So here we go. If you're in the Bradley locker room, hey, we weathered the storm. How could we, you know, it was 17 to four out of the gate. So we've weathered the storm, we're back in the game. Let's do what we do. Let's go win this 20 minutes by six and then we'll get out of here. That's what they're talking about. More to come here from the Ford Center. Evansville leads it at the break by five. Live sports. Did you know you can get someone to shop for you? Stitch Fix really gets me and what I need. Even better, they save me a trip to the mall. It's easy. I share my style, size, and budget, and they do the shopping for me. Stitch Fix sends me things that fit and make me feel like a more stylish version of myself. I keep what works and send back the rest. No subscription required. No commitment. Just my style. Stitch Fix. 
We are trying really hard to get you Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but there is only so much we can do here. You're gonna have to meet us halfway. Well, the whole way, actually. When the whole family gets together, it can be tough to agree on what to do. But with Nintendo Switch, it's easy. Yes. I've never seen them do that. Nintendo Switch, fun for the whole family. Who says you can't get everything you want? Like going for bold without going broke. And staying true to your taste while staying on budget. Who says rising costs means lowering the bar? Settling? No need. Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whenever you want. TJ Maxx, where you can always afford to be you to the max. Before I discovered Walden University, I wondered how much impact could I truly create? At Walden, I acquired invaluable clinical experience. And hands-on expertise. The practical training I got in the field. Included the leadership skills I knew I needed. Which gave me the confidence. To bring about change in the lives of others. Walden University set a course for change. With instant alerts at apartments.com, you'll never miss out on finding your perfect place. Being here for you guys has... Oh, it's so spacious. My love for your together. Apartments.com. Ladies and gentlemen, is this not the greatest? <laughs> electric. That's what they came to see. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. In sport. Back inside the Ford Center, here's a look at our first half stats. Well, again, you know, you... you Bradley really did not want to open it up one out of 11 from the field and they've really done a good job in the last eight minutes trying to get back into this ball game and uh, especially from the three point line uh, so that water kind of you know we talk about water leveling up and it's kind of done that for them for this aces club uh, they've just been very consistent you know they're outscoring from the free throw line they're hanging in there even at the three point line literally so the points in the paint have been a big big uh, part of this game where the aces are are leading in that area as well so Again, the stats pretty even in a game like this. Um, here we go for the next 20 minutes, huh? 10-4, the points in the paint difference in favor of Evansville here at the break. You know, looking around the Missouri Valley just quickly, how good is this league? At the four games that are at halftime right now, this is the largest margin of any of those games. Evansville plus five on Bradley. You and I trailing Missouri State by two. At home. At home. UIC leading Illinois State by five. At Illinois State. And Drake leading SIU at home by one. The other game in progress, Belmont on top of Murray by two. 90 seconds to go in the half there. Indiana State, well, that's the outlier. Well, let's, let's they, look at this. Yeah. They won against Valpo earlier by 40, but uh, that's why they're the top team in the league. The top dog right now. And, uh, you know, one of the stats you look at, you see the standings there. You see Evansville trying to get to that middle and on up. You got a, you got a, a bunch of folks right there in the middle. Uh, they've got wins over you and I. That's probably their signature win to this date. If they can hang on here against Bradley, that really pops him up into that area because it's an opportunity. You know, you look at the Kim Palm, which is a stat I really like. It's the only one I really understand, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, much better than the than net and some of those things. But Kim Palm, ISU, they're at number 36 in the country. Drake, 55. And Bradley at 63, hovering around that pool on an at-large at berth. The valley runs deep, so says the, uh, the mantra. It does indeed. 32-27, Evansville leads it by five at the break. Live sports. I want my music. 
to unify people all over the earth. Then that time is now. Yes, I love those little guys. Become the elephant. Having a daddy-daughter day, that's my way to play. Nintendo Switch. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips here in Illinois. Download your new bookie today at circusports.com. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. With instant alerts at apartments.com, you'll never miss out on finding your perfect place. Being here for you guys has... Oh, it's so spacious. My love for your... together. Apartments.com. Before I discovered Walden University, I wondered how much impact could I truly create? At Walden, I acquired invaluable clinical experience and hands-on expertise. The practical training I got in the field included the leadership skills I knew I needed. Which gave me the confidence to bring about change in the lives of others. Walden University set a course for change. Oh, hi, Kevin. Getting ready to move some boxes? Stretch it out. That's right. Oh, no. Hurry, Kevin. Reach for an Ericsson ratchet strap. That should do the... Wait, what? That's not exactly how our straps are meant to be used, but I like it. Don't get caught with your pants down. And remember, tie it, tow it, load it with Ericsson. Get ready for the rush to the playoffs. The biggest games on the biggest stage. An outdoor hockey doubleheader at MetLife Stadium. The most intense playoffs in sports begin in April and culminate with the most revered trophy of all. The Stanley Cup Final returns to ABC and ESPN Plus this June. Stanley Cup Final on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. Both teams out warming up before the start of the second half gives us a chance to look back at some of those first half highlights. Evansville out of the gate well thanks to a lot of three-point shooting. Well, the first three were, were three made, and uh, again, they were able to get to the, some lineups and some matchups that they wanted to try to exploit. You see the transition here, the fade to the corner by Hafner, who knocks down the open three. The backdoor cut by Bove, and he was able to find him on the backdoor cut, which really translated into there's a cuff on an inside out three, inside out, never in doubt, and he's knocking that down. For the Braves, you know, Dean is just, he's just a player. He just balls. And their, their forte is shooting the three and, and defending, and, and you're seeing highlights of that there. The defensive player of the year right there. They're finding people inside on dribble penetration. And there again, Dean, the easiest three in the building is right there on top of that key. And just an easy dribble in. The Aces have gone under the screen trying to contain him a little bit. And you might see that action a little bit more in the second half. Dean, 11 points. That's a game high. Four of eight from the floor. Three of six from three-point range. And you talked about Bradley's defense on the block shots front. Four blocks, three steals. Evansville, two blocks, four steals here in the contest. Strap in, hold on. It's going to be a fun second half. Well, it will be. And, uh, you know, again, we, we kind of talked about the top three there in the league in the Missouri Valley. And, you know, the league's not probably going to get three in. They could maybe. And so it, Bradley has done a nice job. You're the AD of Bradley. You've done a nice job building this schedule. Yeah. They purposely went out and looked at the American East Conference, the American Conference, the Conference USA, the OBC, the MAC, the Horizon, and the A-10, and tried to pick teams that they thought were going to play well this year. This club, Bradley, he's got wins over Vermont, UAB, Tulane, UTEP, and, and SIUE out of the OBC. They went ahead and they've got losses, 
and the Mac to Akron to Cleveland State and then Duquesne out of the A-10. So they've really challenged themselves trying to build that resume. They're five and three against those other leagues against some of the better teams in those leagues. So now all of a sudden you get the selection Sunday and you say, OK, who's going to be in? Who's going to be out? That is a nice job by this by putting his schedule together for Bradley. So the Braves looking to build that resume, as you said, and hopefully some of those teams that they had success against can find their way through their conference tournaments as conference champions. and be and yes. build that resume, which also not only does that help build your resume, it also helps get you ready for what you're going to see in the Missouri Valley. Absolutely. And in the tournament, if you get a chance to get into the tournament, you get that invite and now you've prepared yourself against a, a lot of different styles of play. David Raglan's team has led throughout. Bradley has never led in this ball game. Aces start with a basketball and a five point lead. Strawbridge surveys things on top. And they open up in the man to man the first possession here. Well, I'm sure we're going to see some zone as well throughout the second half. Toomey will take it from there. Missed it off the front of the rim. No good. Toomey today two of six from the floor under his 50 plus percent margin from the floor. Bradley comes up empty on a quick shot opportunity there. We'll get there trying to isolate Atlason in the post and Kenny gets by but Two closes within range. Right. Strawbridge missed it at the rack at first. Toomey could not get the tip follow to go. And now Bradley will strike first as Hannah open at the basket. Good screen and roll action again. And there's your top, one of the top assist guys in the league. Closest that Bradley has been since the opening tip. Humrick House. Backing his way in, trying to go one on one against the league's best defender in Leon. Forces the foul, and Humrick House earns a trip to the free throw line. Leon's, we talk about his defensive prowess, third in the league in steals, tied for sixth in blocks, sixth in rebounds, and well, by the way, top 20, 15th in points per game. <laughs> Humphrey Kaus at the line, hits the first of two. And he just reached, I mean, maybe you just mentioned it, the 1,000 point in the last game for this club. So. 53rd Brave to do so, and getting Humphrey Kaus on the defensive assignment, been one of six from the floor. Hits both free throws here. He's now four of four at the line for his seven points. Curling around is Hickman, misses the three long. Rebound tipped and controlled now by Humrick House and the Aces, who built the lead back to five. We're going against this set defense. Your, your shots are going to be hard to come by here. Strawbridge from three, missed it. And the long rebound secured by Dean. Boy, he's quick. Kenny Strawbridge takes the pass away, finds Thomas against Dean for two. It points off turnovers. That's, that's going to be a big key here. Thomas slipped out there on the basketball, coming back down the court. He's up and all right. Aces by seven. Open out top. Atlason buries the three. His second of the game. Well, they do a great job with spacing and the screen and then fell back behind. And uh, just a good find again by Dean trying to find the open shooter there. The Braves started 0 for 6 from three-point range. They've made five of their next 10. Now they're back in that matchup. Make it six of the next 11. As Humrick House has it out top with 10 to shoot for Evansville. Five to shoot. Strawbridge in the corner. Thomas has to shoot. Does. Draws the iron. But no more. Hickman kicks. Leones. Now Hannah, baseline. Got it. Over the top of the defender. Well, and again, he's a 60% field goal percentage guy on his career. So he's just an excellent finisher inside 10 feet. 
In the corner, Strawbridge can't answer, and the Braves have a chance to tie or take their first lead. Hickman dumps it, Hannah ties it with authority. Well, that middle of the floor ball screen action with shooters in the corner really stretches your defense. And just a great find that time by Hickman on that screen and roll. 36 all. That is not close from Toomey. Inside take, whistle. And a foul. And we are headed to break. The Braves have completed the comeback from 17 down to tie it at 36. Stay with us. More to come. It's the Valley on ESPN. Jake from State Farm. I really want that personal price plan. So I'll admit it. I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude. You do not need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No? <laughs> Who is that guy? Jazz bath? Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. There is a difference between an idea and an idea made real. At UE, we rise boldly to the challenge of making a difference and also dream big about solving the problems of today to better our world for tomorrow. We join together, knowing that side by side, we can truly make a difference. It's what makes us change makers. We step in, we stand out, and we reimagine everything. And it all starts here at the University of Evansville. Come change the world with us. The valley runs deep. We have all Americans. We have champions. We have Olympians. We have legends. And the Valley just got deeper. Back here at the Ford Center in Evansville, a look in that Bradley huddle, and boy, you, you can't say enough about the job that Brian Wardle's done now in his eighth season. No question, and uh, you know, when he took over, before he got to Bradley, he'd been an assistant of five years at Green Bay, and took over that program in 2010 at the age of 30. He was the youngest head coach in Division I basketball when he took over. Just did an outstanding job there. Went from seventh in the league in his first year, and by the time he left the last two years, they're either first or second in the league. And he takes over this Bradley program, which is a total rebuild, and they were last in the league his first year, won five total games his first year, and then last year had to win the last 10 games of the season to win the league outright, and then took them also to back-to-back -to -back NCAA appearances by winning the Arch Madness for two years in a row. So just done a great job in his eight years here. And when you hear names like Dick Versace, uh, who's a legend at Bradley, and he's tied with him uh, for wins, uh, that's just a, a huge compliment. For the lead, and just like that, Bradley battles back as Hickman dials it in from long range. Bradley by three, their well, first lead. And they're showing why they're one of the top ten, why the top teams in this league. Inside, that's where the Aces have got to find some answers, and they will with Cuff at the basket. Good answer after the timeout there. Get a little back screen action to ran Cuff down in the post. Got a little bit of a scrape to get him open. Leones working against Thomas. Bob sliding in to help. Humrick House intercepts the pass. Now he's he's looking to try. back his way in, taking advantage of the mismatch. Does and scores. Aces back in front. Yeah, good answer that time. Last two possession by the Aces. And Dean, Dean away. Oh, what a shot. shot. <laughs> Bradley back in the lead. 
What and a they, play. And now they jump back into that zone. Quick movement, extra pass, Hughes, baseline, a leaner. Trying to exploit the middle of that zone and Cuff being the facilitator in the middle. He's like a point guard in the middle of that zone trying to find that baseline cutter. Back and forth we now go. Here's Hickman again out top. Working on him is Thomas in the corner. Leon's with a shot fake. Hickman now for three. Defender in the area. Missed it. Cuff secures the rebound. That's his fifth of the game. A pretty good communication at time by the Aces trying to cover that action on the ball side. They do some really good stuff. Bradley does with, the, with that ball side action and three guys moving and good coverage that time by the Aces. Hummerichaus willing his way to the basket. He's the first ace in double figures with the 11. And a foul playing for the steal was Thomas. Well, what we say at the top of the show, you know, you, you get bullied until you don't want to be bullied any longer. And boy, he's really bullied his way. You, you use the word willed his way. He really bullied his way to the rim the last couple of possessions. Thomas picks up his second foul. That's the second on the aces in the half. Bradley with the ball down three. Here's Hickman, a step past Bulb, then looks to distribute. Birch slips nice out in the paint, but the ball finds its way to Hickman. Ten to shoot. Now Hickman three, got it. Boy, he's got that just quick release and good hops and Fundamentally his, just strong player. His second three of the game, he's now got six points. Ties it up at 44. Hughes tripped up from behind there by Atlison. That'll be his first of the game. That's the second of the half on Bradley. Hughes limping his way to the bench. He'll see the training staff as Toomey summoned into the game. Hum Rickhouse for three, short. Toomey may have got away with a push off going for the rebound, but he is fouled. <laughs> it's the second on Davis. So can you push off while you're being pushed off of? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're the second guy, you're always, you always go, get, you caught, always get you? caught. Yeah. Bailey will trigger from the baseline. Here's Toomey. Ace is looking to break that tie. Cuff working on Hickman. Ten to shoot. Cuff got it. Some gutsy possessions well, and finishes both ways the last you, couple of minutes. What's what's not Hickman is a really good post defender for being six foot three. He's not the typical guy you'd back down in there. He does a good job of the arm bar holding his ground. That's just a tough shot by Tanner. Hannah working on both. Hannah backs his way in. Missed it, though. Leones gets the offensive rebound. Davis for three. It rattles out. And the ball last touched by Hannah flying in, looking for another offensive board. Bradley, nine offensive rebounds well, in this game. And we're at the 12-minute mark. Almost, and that's only the that's the first offensive rebound they've they've had. Now they're making shots. <laughs> Don't get me wrong here, but good Hold sign it. if you're the Aces fan. Quick pass there, found its way to Cuff, trying to solve the backcourt pressure, and now Bailey with it. And the Aces again trying to attack that middle, trying to solve this zone defense. Cuff steps back, eyes doesn't take it. Eight to shoot. Bob will take the three. Big three. From the corner. Well, shoot or shoot, passers pass, and you got to shoot your, shoot them out of that zone. Bob is two for two, five points from the floor. Hickman into the paint. Leones is fouled before he puts up the shot. Yeah, they get Cuff there on the reach. Cuff with the foul. 
Aces with the lead as we go to break. 49-44, a good one developing here at the Ford Center as Bold launches and hits from long range. Evansville by five. Live sports. I get to love you. It's the best thing that I'll ever do. Shop K's Valentine's Day sale and save 30 to 40% on everything only at K. I always like your love songs. The world isn't ready for your music. They don't want the world to change. Sometimes the messenger has to become the message. With Nintendo Switch, I don't have to hear, Mom, just a few more minutes. Ready? Mm -hmm. They can play it in the living room and in the car. It does both. Nintendo Switch, it's two things in one thing. The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips in Illinois. It's sports betting the way it should be, with high betting limits, tight money line splits. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. Ooh, number seven future renew day cream. Reverses damage. What, like from sleeping in my makeup? Lawless. Emotional damage? No. Skin only. Reverse visible skin damage with new Future Renew Day Cream. With a world first peptide technology, no other skincare product has. Who's got damage besides all of us? Don't regret, just reverse. Top leagues in tournaments. Best stories in sports. On ESPN Plus. Complete. MVC student athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for future Valley pioneers. To learn more about mobilizing voices for change, visit mvc-sports.com slash one valley. Five point game, 11.37 to go, back and forth. This has been an entertaining second half. And really good basketball. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, you know, this time of year, you would expect that in the Valley. I mean, they've been through the wars. They know each other. They scout each other hard. So just an excellent basketball game. So far. Bradley basketball after the Aces foul. The Braves have led here in the second half after being down by 17 in the first. In the corner, three flies, that's good from Leones in the corner. And that is his first make and his first points of the game. Bold shot fake, takes the three, missed it off the rim, no good. Spin move by Hickman, just missed the shot. Here's Toomey. There's your zoom action. Reach in foul on Hannah. That will be his second. Fourth on Bradley this half. Coach Wordle, not very happy with that one. <laughs> Coaches are never happy, are they? Somebody's always not happy, right? <laughs> Cuff feeling his way out, working on Leones, gets by his man, then got too far underneath and missed the shot. Cuff is down on the floor, holding his head. He'll get up and get back into play. Now that ball is stolen away by Strawbridge when Bradley had a five on four break. Tanner Cuff is bleeding from the head and they will stop play to tend to him. And the Aces fans see blood. 
And I believe they're going to take a look at that to see if there's anything flagrant there. Yeah, they will take a look. That was the signal. No foul was called as Cuff hit the deck hard. And they will go to the monitor to take a look. And we're going to show it to you here. Let's take a look, boys. Guys in the truck got it. So he did drive it hard. He goes up. Oh, and it came back down. Got kind of a double hit there. Right there is where he oh, got it. Mercy. Kind of took the elbow to the head. Now the question is, at this point, is that flagrant? They cannot go back and add a common foul. Right. And I'm not sure, in my mind, that that's flagrant. Well, is I it? believe they're going to call that a basketball play. I think. I think so. And we'll find out officially. Yeah, Jed Hartness is going to go over and let Kyle know here. It's unfortunate. 14 just brought his arm down and it just got him in this top of the head. Yeah, basketball play. Basketball play, he said, as you may have heard. It's unfortunate, but his arm just came down and hit him. So basketball play, no foul called, and no flagrant foul as Cuff bloodied on the play. It'll be Bradley basketball. Or sorry, Aces basketball, as they had possession after the steal at the other end. Here's Bailey elevating over the defender, missed the shot. Not sure that that's the shot you'll want there, but he took it. And this just came up short. Dean in the corner. And now Hickman, 12 to shoot for the Braves. Hannah takes off, missed the slam, rebound, and Toomey tries for the block from behind. And two shots coming. I wasn't sure that thing went in, but it did not on the foul on the second chance. And it is getting rugged here. Yes. To the line is Leones. <laughs> Free throw good. Leones a 73% free throw shooter on the season, coming off a 23-point performance at Illinois State. It's been held to just four points tonight. Second free throw to try it and tie it back up and will. Evansville has now not scored in a little over two minutes. Well, let's see what kind of action. They came out of the timeout with a really good action to get cup open while ago and see what kind of action they're looking at here. Bailey again, a tough shot. This one, he hits from the elbow. High ball screen, go get you a bucket, huh? I guess. Goodness, feeling it right there was Bailey. His first basket of the game inside, looking to answer, is Atlason, the Icelander, with two more. Bailey the other way. Hughes backs in, missed it. Rebound to the Braves. Bradley looks to grab the lead. In the corner, Atlason, Bradley in front. Back and forth we go here. 54, 51, eight and a half minutes to play. That one knocked out of bounds well, by Davis. They're trying to isolate Strawberry down into the post that time. And he's able to get a hand on knock away. Eight minutes to go here, trying to trying to give his guys a little bit of a breather here ahead of the next break. Dean checks out. on the shot clock here. Toomey now flips to Bobe. He's going to take that three. Missed it off the iron. No good. Birch the rebound. At 
Atlison working on Bo, backing his way in, turns, throws it toward the basket, comes up empty. I believe he's looking, looking for, for a, a pass there. there. Yeah. yeah. Here is Strawbridge in the corner. Bob shot fake and a blocking foul on Leones. You know, you look at Gage Bob, a walk on his first three years, a starter now, trying to be an impact player in this one for the Aces, who trail by three. Pizza Whopper. Creating your Whopper <laughs> your way could win you a million bucks. Can you top that? Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. The 2024 State Farm MVC Men's Basketball Tournament marks 30 years at Enterprise Center. Mark your calendars for March 7th through 10th and celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. Get your all-session tickets tonight. Save nearly $25 by calling 812-4888, 488-2237, or online at gopurpleaces.com. Support the Purple Aces and experience the madness. A little preview of what Arch Madness could be about for teams of the Missouri Valley tonight. A gritty, back and forth, physical basketball game. Boy, the fans haven't been over to St. Louis in our, our mm. tournament. Uh, it's just a great production over there. Things close around the Valley tonight. You and I on top of Missouri State by three. UIC leading Illinois State by three. Oh, gets the Speaking of three, that one bounces in for Chuck <laughs> Bailey. That was about four, four inches short and it still got there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and Drake leads SIU at home by six. Belmont trails Murray State by one in the second half. That's a three. Grabbing the lead right back. It's Hickman. Great action after the timeout. And Again, they're bringing that zoom action across and, and bringing Hickman off, off that pin down. And boy, just raises up and sticks it. Here's Strawbridge. Dishes. That's Hughes. A three point shootout is underway. Well, what I wrote down in my notes here on the last break, it's either going to be for aces, actions, or matchups. And boy, both clubs are just coming out and really executed on the actions that they want this half, the last in this segment here. Dean misses the shot. Evansville a chance to grab the lead under seven minutes. Bailey, that one not good. Hughes, a one-handed rebound, but threw away the pass after. Transition opportunity, Bradley. Hickman moving, kicking. That's Dean driving, dishing. Leones, the three, won't go. Bradley stays in that man-to-man, -man, which is their forte. So it's either actions or matchups. So here we go. Both teams shooting now over 40% from the floor in the contest. So there's your matchup that they wanted. Strawbridge left it short. Hughes cleans it up. Great positioning that time by the 6'11 Hughes down inside. Timeout, Bradley. <laughs> and Coach Wardle's not real pleased with the block out there. 59-57, Evansville by two. More to come. Don't go anywhere. It's the Valley on ESPN. And what if I need a different kind of plan? State Farm can help you find the right coverage. What if I was a different kind of baller? It's called Mark's Cubans. Cuban sandwiches by Mark Cuban. You'd have a majority steak. Mm. This is proprietary toasting technology. It's a pass. Okay, hear me out. Mark Tubins, tube socks by yours truly. Nope. Mm -mm. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all new boneless chicken wings. I mean, this is how Papa John's does boneless wings. Juicy all-white meat chicken, lightly breaded with hints of Parmesan and pepper, and baked to a crispy golden brown. 
and try them with this brand new zesty sauce. Find our new boneless wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Get two or more favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now in the app. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. here at the Ford Center. You set for Super Bowl Sunday. That young man looks fired up. You gotta like the cut too. Oh man. You gotta like the high and tight cut. That's a party in the back and a business in the front, <laughs> right? You gotta like that, young man. He you, is you gonna be up. you, buddy. You gonna be you. Fired up and ready to go. All right, you like stats. Let me give you one. There you go. Bradley. The last two years when they've shot just 33% or better from the three, they're 38 and six. Now they opened the game up one for 11, right? They were over ever from the three out of the start of the gate. They're at 43% right now. I'm sorry, 44% right now from the three point line. They're 11 out of 25. So they have really lit it up here after the first eight minutes of the game. Braves with a basketball. Isis with a two-point lead. Here's Hickman out top, matching up with Toomey for the moment. Hickman to the basket, leaves it. Leones, the finish, ties it back up. What a great pass by Hickman that time. He got the matchup with Toomey on him on the perimeter. They were trying to isolate Bob in a post. Couldn't get it to him. He takes it down the paint and then finds the big fella on that dribble, dribble drive and the drop. Strawbridge kicks Humrick House. He's been quiet as of late from the floor. Has a team high 11. Does Big Ben. He's got it now. Seven to shoot. Going to try to create with five. He will pull the trigger. That's air ball. Not tipped. It's out of bounds. Bradley basketball. Yeah, we talked about, <laughs> you know, Leon is elite defensively and uh, just a tough, tough matchup there with Ben. Hummerkhaus comes in eighth in field goal percentage in the league at just under 53%, has been held to three of 10, 30% tonight. 10 to shoot here for the Braves. Leon's going to work, kicks. Open shot for the lead is no good as Toomey rips down the rebound, his fifth of the game. Well, they had Leon down in the post, and Bo came to double. Good rotation and matching up on the weak side that time. Did left It left Dean open, but just could not knock that down. Strawbridge into the paint, goes through contact, and will go to the line. Kenny Strawbridge Jr., a second team preseason Missouri Valley player. Well, if he just could have kept his hand behind the ball to shoot it instead of underneath there and spinning it, may have been able to, to finish there. But good move that time by Kenny down from the top of the key to get that isolation down in the post. Free throw no good. He'll have another 62% at the line on the season. If you want to win big games, you've got to steal some points at the free throw line. These are big here for the Aces now the rest of the way. Evansville 10 of 13 now at the line for the game. Strawbridge hits the second, giving Evansville the lead. Possessions become big as we get later down the stretch. Hickman. Oh, he double yeah, dribbled. He did. He did. Great job on that flare screen. Under four timeout. Evansville 60. Bradley 59. We got a ball game at the Ford Center. 
million dollar Whopper contest. I can top that. I can top that. Hey, you can top that. You bet. Really? Avocado, bacon, hollandaise. Mwah. Hollandaise. Pickles and sport peppers. What? Corn chips. Brisket barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. I can top that. Bacon, egg, and cheese Whopper. Pizza Whopper. Creating your Whopper <laughs> your way could win you a million bucks. Can you top that? Whoa, I have the new iPhone 15. With that amazing camera, I wish my family had them. Zoe, you're an action star. Take action. Join T-Mobile and get four new iPhone 15s on them and four lines for 25 bucks a line. With that camera, I'll be sharing pics from the slopes. You do not want to see yourself skiing. Yeah, I'm good at skiing. Your stunt woman is. Only T-Mobile gives you four new iPhone 15s on us and four lines of unlimited for 25 bucks a line. What do you think of the jacket? You look like a polar bear. <laughs> For buying a treadmill? You use the Quicksilver card from Capital One. It's simple, with no annual fee and unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. That makes you the hero of every purchase. Yeah. And heroes don't take the stairs. Is this a parachute? Ah! Ah! What's in your wallet? The world's largest sports book in Las Vegas is now right at your fingertips here in Illinois. Hi, I'm Derek Stevens. I'm a lifelong sports better, and I'm the owner of Circus Sports. We're excited about launching our Circus Sports app in Illinois. It's sports betting the way it should be, with high betting limits, tight money line splits, exceptional customer service, and more. Download your new bookie today at circusports.com. Start betting like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. Ace Purple liking what he sees so far. 355 to go in the game. Evansville holding a one-point lead. And coach, we talked about it. Both of these teams have been here before. Bradley 5-2 in games going to overtime or decided by five or less this season. And for the Aces, you look back to that signature win to this point over you and I. Well, the last four minutes here, if you'd have told Evansville, we're going to be a one-point lead under the under four timeout, they'd have taken that. And now it's a matter of can we get back to where we were at the beginning of the game, imposing our will in the first four minutes. Can we do that now? And if you're Bradley, we did that coming out of the locker room at halftime. Can we do that now? So now it's crunch time. Who's going to impose their will here? Remember, Evansville lost in Peoria to the Braves by 36 points. They lead by one. They just turned it over. Humrick House missed the opportunity there to grab a rebound as the Braves got a steal and a second chance basket to take the lead. Backcourt pressure giving Evansville some fits. So the Braves get the steal coming out of the timeout and turn it into the lead. And then they jump into the zone defense here where they Aces have been a little bit stagnant here against his zone. Six to shoot. Strawbridge will from way and hit out it. there. <laughs> way out there. Oh no, don't shoot. Nice shot. <laughs> Evansville, plus two. That's the first make from three point range for Strawbridge tonight in three tracks. Nice move inside. Oh, what a poster slam by Hannah. Ties it at 63. Great ball side action that time. Very athletic play. Two and a half minutes left. Strawbridge taking off. Cannot get in. Ten to shoot again. This is Thomas. Reverses course. Kicks. Throws it away. Official knocked down on the play. It'll be Bradley basketball. Well, good. A good, good ball movement there. I mean, you can see the screen and roll. Finds him. And bang. What an athletic play there by Hannah. Over the top of the contesting Humrick House. Tied at 63. Bradley a chance for the lead as we get close to two minutes. Dean from the elbow. Missed it long. Tipped the rebound. Batted out 
the Braves can go across the timeline to retrieve it because it was deflected. That's a clean play. Bradley has it, five to shoot. Do they realize the clock? Taking off, step back, desperation off the rim from Hannah and the Aces, the rebound. Hey, great action here at Fort Some Center, Some crazy huh? minutes here late. And they're in the man-to-man. -man. Let's see what the Aces have called here. Bogue comes to get it. Strawbridge on the move, a little loose with the dribble, and lost it. Rebound, scramble. Actually, not a rebound. Toomey fouled yeah. as he picks it up off the deck, and he'll go to the line. This will be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for Yasin Toomey. Lost the ball, fortunate to pick, up, pick that back up. Ball just bounced the right way, and you can see World just reach across right there and not stay vertical. Pretty easy call, actually. Toomey, two of four tonight at the line. 53% at the line on the season. Has to hit the first to get the second here in crunch time. Free throw. In and out and in. <laughs> All around good free throw, right? <laughs> <laughs> now this will hit nothing but nylon. There you go. It won't even touch the rim here. What's that? Shooters touch here saying. This one off the back of the iron. No good. Bradley with a basketball. A one-point game. And the tension is high here at the Ford Center. Back door to Dean. He's underneath the basket. Circles back out with it. Did not pull the trigger. Ten to shoot. And the Aces crowd comes to life here. A minute ball. to play. Oh. Toomey touched the ball away. They'll say it's on the deck. The foul called on Toomey. That was a bang, bang play. Toomey, irate. That's his third, just the fifth Aces team foul. Yep. So foul to give there with a minute to go. Resets the shot clock to 20 for Bradley. And you've got to get this rebound if you're the Aces. Hickman driving, double teamed. In the corner, big three is good. Actually give him two, they may go and look to see and that's what they're gonna do. No three was signaled. They'll look at it from Dean to see if it's a two or if it's a three. Regardless, Bradley has the lead less than a minute to go. So they called it a two, and then we'll see, right? So the officials to the monitors to take a look. And again, you've got to see un undisputable evidence, indisputable evidence, to overturn the call, which appeared to be a two on the call by the officials on the court. And we'll see what the Aces come up with here in the huddle. You see the offensive coordinator, the Rosie, really talking about uh, where we need to be here. So, again, we have to run that back again. You'll have to go back a little further. I think that's a three. I believe he left the floor behind it. We'll Wait. see it again, right? Yeah, he left the floor, right? Ooh, maybe where's not. The, where's the toe? Not the best angle there, but. It was called a two, right, on the floor? I he did didn't not signal see for three. a three go up. Now they have on Different. the stat screen scored it as a three, and on the scoreboard they have not put anything up there yet. But I did not see, I didn't see the arms official hardness go up. Yeah. So maybe he did, and we just didn't see it. So. And again, the officiating crew can only look at – the replays they can look at. Well, and they have a different set of replays sure, than we have. they have a different system. So that's the other thing the fans need to realize, too. 64-63, pending the score. It this will is, either be 65-64, Bradley, or 66-64, Bradley, for the final 50.2 seconds. But under a minute to go, that's a big, this is a big call. Yeah. You know? It takes Evansville from a situation where a two could tie or a two could give you the lead. We know for sure there will at least be two possessions in this game remaining. Lots of time left in reality. 
And you can see what Coach Roosevelt's talking about is how we're going to break this press first, uh, how, how the Aces are going to attack the press, and then what they get into on the backside of the press. So, An extended review as the officials, again, usually what that means is this is not the easiest of calls to make. Correct. And they do want to get it right. And after looking at it, they will discuss it. Not an insignificant call in any means here. So we await the decision. It's a two. It's a two point shot. So it's, it's a, a one point Bradley Lee. 65 64 Braves. And how about our crew being on top of it right there? There you go. I mean, once, you, once they slowed it down, Got to look. Bradley's outscored Evansville by seven here in the second half. And Bradley will not press here, which is kind of surprising. They will pick the aces up in the half court set. So a 20 second difference here between the shot clock and game clock. Possession arrow, should it become a factor, favors Bradley. Both teams with multiple timeouts. And the aces will be going against man to man here. Evansville still has a foul to give. Keep that in mind as we go. Aces need a basket for the lead. Here's Humrichaus. A foul by Bradley will put the Aces at the line. Humrichaus into the paint. Willing his way up. Goes and off gets the glass. It. Gets it to go. <laughs> Aces lead. And a free throw pending. And that time he took the defensive player of the year, walked him down and went through his chin to the rim with that left shoulder. And boy, great defense by, by Leon. But he's just better offense by Ben Humrichhaus. Leon's fourth personal foul. Humrichhaus gives Evansville a two-point lead. Timeout taken on the court. 35.7 seconds to go. Taken here by the Aces is the timeout. Each team with two remaining. Walk me through both huddles discussions well, here quickly. Well, there's still a lot of basketball here. 35 seconds is an eternity in a, in a one-possession game here now. So. Uh, again, if you're the Aces, uh, you've, you've got to you've got to find Hickman on these actions to the perimeter. They found the roll man what three or four times within the last five or six possessions. So, I would say you're going to really load up to the ball side action to try to take away and make them throw the skip to the weak side. If you're the Aces here, I mean, so they've got to load up to the ball. So there'll be five guys playing the ball action and trying to recover at the backside. If you're if you're Bradley, you're going to put the ball in the hands of the guys that, that have been the most productive here. And then in that matchup, it's been Hickman on the screen and roll with Hannah here, and they've been very productive for that as well. Their most active shooters for Bradley, Hickman 4 of 10, Dean 6 of 14, Dean's got 15, Hannah's got 13, Atlason and Hickman each with 11, the four-headed monster all in double figures. Here, here we, we go. go. Flare screen to the weak side. Three for the lead. No good. Aces rebound. Bob has it. Flips behind to Humrick House. No foul yet from Bradley. Here it comes. They just happened to foul. One of the best free throw shooters in the league in Thomas, sixth in the Valley at 84%. He'll go to the line for one and one. That's the ninth. Bradley team foul, 19 seconds. And Bradley overloaded the ball side uh, ran, ran the screen or ran that flare screen to the weak side to Dean who ends up pulling up for the three. It probably looked like it was more of an isolation play that maybe they wanted him to penetrate back on the weak side. Free throw Thomas is good. This one a big one. And this makes it a two possession game and boy what a big free throw right here. You talk about signature win. This would be a big big next step for this Evansville club. Thomas for a two possession lead. 19.5, Evansville does have a foul to give. Bradley will spend a timeout. <laughs> 17 seconds to play. Coach Wardle knows he needs two possessions. Well, and if you're the Aces, you know, you got, you got to play this out. You don't want to foul. I mean, you got one to give. But again, anything, maybe a drive inside the arc, 
if somebody's got a free lane, you know, you maybe you, you come across the arms with that. But uh, the worst thing you can do is is foul somebody in the act. And uh, again, who's it going to be? Is the ball going to be Pickman? They do a great job of setting a lot of screen pin downs and screening action for Hipman, Hipman to get open. So they went to Dean the last time. My guess they're going to go to one of their other guys that you call the four-headed monsters there to see uh, to try to get that quick score because they do need two possessions. If they're anticipating a foul here, you know, if you're Evansville, you, you, we talk about it a lot. KYP, you know your personnel. Exactly. Dean, 80% at the line on the season. Hannah's at 56%. Leon's at 73%. Hickman, 70%. Atlason 63%. So that's if you're Evansville and you get in a situation where you want to foul, that's the lineup. Again, the reset, 17.2 on the clock. Possession arrow Bradley. They've got a timeout left. Evansville with two. Evansville a foul to give. They have five team fouls. The next Bradley foul, Evansville shoots two. Well, you've got, number one, you've got the rebound. If you rebound and make free throws, you win the game here if you're Evansville. But you've got to make them burn so that they can't score here in the first three or four seconds off this out-of-bounds play. Braves do inbound it. Going right to the react to the basket, Leon will hit the shot. The clock will stop for the inbounds. The Aces <laughs> have got to take it out first. It's a two-point game. They struck within two seconds. Humrakaus gets it in. Thomas fouled. That's not really who you want to foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Again, amongst the league's best, 84.4% is Thomas at the line. And on that foul, Leones has fouled out. That's his fifth. So there goes arguably the league's best defender. And Thomas will have two shots here. His team up to 14 seconds on the clock. Free throw, good. And again, this is a big one here. Still a lot of ball to be played here now. Bradley has made six of 14 threes in this half, 11 of 28 for the game, but the deficit is four. There is the final Bradley timeout with the 11.6 seconds on the clock. It kind of surprising there. I thought maybe he'd go for the quick score, then call the timeout to set his defense, but he elects to go ahead and burn it here. Again, the storyline. Bradley beat Evansville in Peoria in January by 36 points. Well, no Ben Humberkaus. Right. Who just made the play to, to really set the tone here. 23 points off turnovers, and the Aces right now have 10 turnovers uh, total, and how many? Uh, Only two, two points. points. Wow! Right, which is which is huge. So that's a huge turnaround from the game up there. And again, more than anything, the Aces came out and set the tone early that hey, we are here to battle tonight, and we're going to be physical, we're rugged, especially playing at home. So Aces had a 17-point first half lead. It's four with 11 seconds. Hickman, three, got it! Oh, what a shot from the top from Hickman. One point game, those. eight seconds. Humrickhouse gets it into Bob. immediately fouled. Gage Bob, if you're wondering. Seven of eight from the free throw line on the season. The biggest two of the year coming up here. How about that shot? from Connor Hickman a moment ago with a defender in his face. We talked about just, just being an assassin out there. He is, he is laser good from a three. Gage Bulb, free throw, good. A walk on his first three years in the program. By percentage, the top three-point shooter in the Valley last year, a starter for the Aces just gave his team a three-point lead. David Raglan spins a timeout. 7.4 seconds on the clock. Aces still with that foul to give. Now that's what, now's when it comes into play. They need the three. And so 
7.4 seconds, you're going to use that foul here by the time they get to the three-point line on the other end. Now, the question becomes, you, you burn that foul, you take the time off, now they run an out-of-bounds play. They're going to run the out-of-bounds play, which they have in their arsenal, from close to that three-point line for a three-pointer. So, again, <laughs> I keep saying it, there's a lot of basketball left here, even with seven seconds left to go. A lot of drama here late. All eyes from around the Missouri Valley Conference on this one. Now, is there any doubt who's going to shoot the ball? <laughs> I think you're going to know where 10 is Well, if you're the Aces defenders. You've got to defend that three-point line. Anything, any slip to the rim, whatever, you're going to give that up. But you're switching everything on the perimeter, getting to the three-point shooter. Hickman. Four of six from three-point range tonight. He's got it now. And a screen. Hickman forces off the rim. No good. Kick out. Is it ahead of the horn? It will count. I think it counts. I think the game is tied. I think it's good. I think we're headed to overtime. The officials will take a look. Dean, with fractions of a second, may have just sent us to overtime. And I may disagree with you. You really? Yeah. This one's going to be really close. Wow. I mean, we're sitting in line with that, and I'm not sure he got it off. It's going to, it is going to be very close. Have we got that in the truck? Fractions of a second. Here it comes. Ooh. He did not get it off. I run, don't run think that so. again, fellas. We'll see it again. Here it is. Look for the zero Look and for the, the red now. No, no he did it's not, get not it. good. It's no good. I don't think it's going to count. <laughs> wow. It came late. I was wrong. <laughs> you had it all the way. I don't know. It sure doesn't look like it, but, but crazier things have happened here now. The signal was no good or was good from the officials who now will take a look. Yeah. The officials have said it is no good. They are looking at the clock to make sure timing was correct, there which is go. another part of the review. But again, it's still in his hands. And if we can slow that down just a little bit, fellas. Here we go. You're not going to see the, the clock there. But so the official did come over and say yes. the ball was here still in his hands. There it is right here. Two, and one, zero. Yep. It's there. Perfect. There you see it still in his hands. But if on the clock you can find two, a tenth two or two tenths two of a second. Did they start the clock when they should have when the ball was in balance? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. man. What drama here tonight, huh? It all comes down. And this officiating crew has had some drama. <laughs> they have, and they have had. They have gotten it all right tonight. So that's the ball game. It is over. It is all over. And Evansville has avenged a 36-point loss in Peoria to win as a would-be game-tying overtime forcing three is waved off by fractions of a second, and the Aces get that signature win. Well, I'll tell you what, just a terrific effort tonight by this Aces club. And they were prepared, they stepped up, they came out of the gate ready to go. Uh, they were not going to be bullied tonight, and they dished it out. Just a great team win, and a great win for this program in year two of Coach Ragland and his staff. What a game. Welcome to Missouri Valley Conference <laughs> basketball. Boy, is Arch Madness going to be fun down the line. That's going to do it for us tonight. We hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did, bringing it your way. For our director tonight, John Smith, associate producer Jeff Bailey, and our entire ESPN Purple Aces production crew. For Rick Johnston, I'm Kyle Peach. Yeah. Woo, take a breath. What a night in Evansville. All games airing on the Great ESPN job. networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Good night from Evansville. <laughs>